Georgia Woods and welcome to GoFly Online. Today we are going to look at how to conduct radio calls at a CTAF aerodrome. We will primarily be looking at the radio calls related to certified aerodromes, but the same radio procedures and radio calls can also apply to non-certified aerodromes. Information on CTAF radio calls can be located in the AIP en route 1.1 and VFRG chapter 5 radio operations and CASR 91.63. Carriage of a VHF radio is mandatory at any registered, certified and military aerodromes or any other aerodrome nominated by CASA. At a non-controlled aerodrome you must make a radio call if you think there is a potential conflict with another aircraft. The pilot should always give a radio broadcast when departing, arriving or overflying. CASA recommends giving a call in all of these circumstances. If the pilot intends to take off, the pilot is inbound to an aerodrome, the pilot intends to fly through the vicinity but not land at an aerodrome. CASA recommends giving these calls depending on traffic and situation. The pilot intends to enter a runway, the pilot is ready to join the circuit, the pilot intends to make a straight in approach, or the pilot intends to join the base leg. When taxiing at a non-controlled aerodrome, it is important for the pilot to give a taxi call before they start taxiing. The radio call should include the name of the aerodrome followed by the traffic, aircraft type and call sign. Taxiing for destinations such as run-up area, holding point or runway and finished with the name of the aerodrome. An example would be Caloundra Traffic, Sling 7788, taxiing to runway 23, Caloundra. Suggested calls when entering the active runway include the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, entering followed by the runway, intentions or circuits, and the name of the aerodrome. An example of this would be Caloundra Traffic, Sling 7788, entering runway 23 for circuits. Caloundra. Backtracking. Sometimes your aerodrome has two runways. Here at Caloundra we have two runways and no taxiway. So depending on the wind, sometimes you will need to backtrack on a runway to get to another. Let's assume the wind is favouring runway 1-2. I would then need to backtrack on runway 05. When entering and backtracking on a runway, you must state the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, entering and backtracking runway and the runway you are backtracking to, and the name of the aerodrome. An example would be Caloundra Traffic Sling 7788 is backtracking runway 05 for runway 12 Caloundra. You would also give the same backtracking call when backtracking on runway 12 and this would be Caloundra Traffic Sling 7788 backtracking runway 12 Caloundra. After you have backtracked, it is important to give a rolling call with your intentions. The suggested rolling call you should make when taking off on a runway after backtracking would include the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, rolling runway with the runway number following this, four intentions and the name of the aerodrome. An example would be Caloundra Traffic Sling 7788 Rolling runway 12 for circuits, Caloundra. If you are departing, the call would be the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, rolling runway with the runway number, departing to the area and height climbing to, followed by the name of the aerodrome. An example of this might be Caloundra traffic, sling 7788, rolling runway 12, departing to the east climbing to 2500 Caloundra. If you are conducting circuits, it is also a good idea before you land to give a call with your intentions. The best place to make this call is either downwind, base, or if you think there is any conflict. A standard call would include the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, base, runway followed by the runway number, for a touch and go, stop and go or full stop, followed by the name of the aerodrome. An example would be 
Caloundra Traffic, Sling 7788, Base, Runway 12, Touch and Go, Caloundra. If you were conducting a full stop landing, the radio call would be Caloundra Traffic, Sling 7788, Base, Runway 12, Full Stop, Caloundra. Inbound calls. When inbound to a CTAF, the format is fairly simple. It includes the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, your position, your intentions with an ETA for overhead or joining the circuit, and the name of the aerodrome. An example of an inbound call to a CTAF would be Caloundra Traffic, Sling 7788 is 10 nautical miles to the south, 1,500 feet inbound, overhead 23 Caloundra. It is also recommended to give a call when joining the circuit area. Let's assume we are going to join Crosswind for runway 12 at Caloundra. Firstly, give the call at least 10 seconds before you join the circuit to give other aircraft a chance to hear your call and get back to you if required before you join the circuit. The call would be the name of the aerodrome followed by traffic, aircraft type and call sign, and joining the leg of the circuit for the runway, followed by the name of the aerodrome. An example of this would be Caloundra Traffic, Sling 7788, joining Midfield Crosswind, Runway 12, Caloundra. Other radio calls. If you think there is any chance of a potential conflict with another aircraft, give them a radio call. A common scenario is when you depart, another aircraft may be inbound at the same or similar height. In this instance, be proactive and advise the other aircraft that you will maintain a height at least 500 feet of separation until you have the other aircraft visual. If you are transiting an aerodrome or overflying, you should also give a call. Let's say for instance we are overflying Caboolture Aerodrome, tracking direct to Redcliffe Airport. The call should be the name of the aerodrome traffic, aircraft type and call sign, your position, your intentions and track with an ETA for overhead, followed by the name of the aerodrome. An example of this would be Caboolture Traffic, Sling 7788, 10 miles to the north, overflying 1,500 feet, tracking direct Redcliffe. Time overhead, 22 Caboolture. While we have covered most of the radio calls you will use in and around a CTAF, for more information please go to the VFRG Chapter 5 Radio Procedures. Happy and safe flying and see you next time on Go Fly Online.